excited. After being months out west without an Aldi, here we are, just outside of Houston, Texas. Prove us wrong, we think Aldi is the cheapest chain store, grocery store that there is. And we like low budget living, so we like Aldi. I'm very excited to be able to stock up here. Aldi, Aldi, I've missed you so much. Aldi, oh, Aldi, 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 Aldi. Look at all this good food we got. There are certain food items that we have really missed that we like from Aldi. One of them, this. One of our biggest challenges with space in the van is definitely groceries. We tend to get too many groceries Sometimes it's hard to fit it all in the fridge, and then we also usually have an overflow on the counter. But that's just how it is, because food's kind of important. If you've been following along on our adventures, you might have noticed that we've been eating out a little bit more than normal the last few days. Uh, part of that, well, is because we found some fun places to eat, but also because of our schedule. Uh, number one, it's a little bit more challenging when we're trying to drive more in a day. And combine that with longer hours in the library, trying to go to the gym, get showers. So here we are tonight, it's eight o'clock. We were at the library most of the day, then we were just at Planet Fitness, exercising and getting cleaned up. And we have an hour and a half yet that we wanna to drive tonight. Right now we're on the west side of Texas. We're gonna to try to get over on the east side and beyond a little bit, right? She means Houston. Oh, I keep calling Houston, Texas. Yes, we are on, well, <laughs> we are on the west side of Houston. Houston. Um, so anyway, all that being said, we're going to cheat again tonight. We're going to get a little Caesar's pizza because they're kind of cheap and fast. And then we're going to have some, I think, fresh green beans that we just picked up at Aldi for something healthy. And we're going to call it a dinner. Little Kitty and I are just sitting here waiting for our pizza. Are you so excited about Little Caesar's Pizza Kitty? I don't think she could be any more excited. Oh, hey, Little Caesar's. We haven't had Little Caesar's in a while. Yeah. So here we are, going with the flow, changing plans at the last minute. We are having our dinner here in the front seat as we drive. We've got our pizza and our green beans. And that's okay. Enjoy your pizza. Cheers. Pizza, pizza. Well, we made it to our resting spot for the night. Good old Cracker Barrel. What do you see out there, kitty? Great, great. We have a little bit of a problem we need to talk about. There are other cats around. There are two kitties outside. Yeah. So there's these two cats that are hanging around outside our van. It's pretty obvious that people feed them. Our little lady, Gray Gray, does not like other cats. She used to spit and hiss and go kind of crazy when we had our house in Florida and she would see a cat outside. But the funny thing is, she's here in the front seat and she hasn't noticed either of them yet. But the problem is, I can't really take her for a walk when there's two cats around the van outside, so... Maybe another night that she can't go for a walk. So while little Lady Grey is oblivious in the front, we're gonna hang out here in the back. I gotta put the pizza away, and Steve's working very hard on editing. Good morning, you guys. We're trying to put the van back together a little bit this morning. Our kitty's tiny home. Our very classy tiny home. The funny thing is, last night I realized there were at least four cats out around the van. She never noticed. <laughs> I think that's pretty funny. Uh, 
So as we mentioned, we were at Cracker Barrel. There was music all night long. There must have been a local business that just plays music. But we had our fan on and I thought it might bother me, but it ended up being okay. I don't know if we had mentioned way back when we were in Colorado Springs that we parked at a Cracker Barrel and the Cracker Barrel had music going on all night long and we were kind of close to it. And we thought it was quiet enough it wouldn't bother us, but it really did bother us all night. So we've learned a lesson about that, but last night it actually was okay. You gonna come up? Come up to your tiny home? Come on, you can do it. <laughs> there you go. And there she goes. Into her tiny home. Good girl, you ready to go? You ready to go? And I put this insert in so it's not so loud when we're driving for her. Come here, come here, kitty. Kitty? My kitty cats. Just as we thought, someone comes and feeds those cats. It'd be interesting to know the story there with them. Anyway, with that, we say goodbye to another Cracker Barrel. Bye, Cracker Barrel. Bye. this morning to figure out the um, best plan for the day. We're going to head there, go to the library, because that's one of our favorite things to do. Got to get some work done. Maybe try to find something in the area and then keep making our way towards Louisiana. And while we drive about an hour, Steve's going to contemplate life and eat his banana. wheeler in front of us here who keeps veering off to the right a little bit we were just driving next to some concrete barriers and he actually hit the barrier a little bit was it just back his back tire yes yeah. you could see the like uh, shrapnel coming up or whatever and dust from him hitting golly a warning to be careful on the roads because you never know what you're gonna run into Steve's a very careful driver Kind of interesting wondering what this guy's gonna do up here because he keeps going off to the right. Kind of makes you nervous sometimes. This is him. Hopefully we can get around him. What are you doing? Just trying to figure out which way the sun's gonna go. Steve is always thinking. Well, our best bet is to park over on this side. I already know this tidbit of information, but Steve tries to park so the sun is behind us. So it's hitting the solar panels, but it's not baking our front windshield area. Or our kitty, who's talking now. Hi, kitty. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot to say. We're going to go in the library for a couple hours, so usually what we do before we head in there is make sure the van's ready, comfortable for the cat. I try to make sure it's not a dark cave in here, so I open up a few curtains, open up the windows and the roof vent. Well, we finished up at the library. We weren't there as long as we typically are, but I also thought we'd be there less time than we were. <laughs> it seems to always be the case. Something that I love is when we get out back to the van. When this little girl sees me, she always makes a little noise. She just goes, meow, and I always miss it, but it's like the cutest thing. I always love getting back out to the van and seeing her. She's definitely my girl. Ain't your baby? My little girl, huh? 
Here you go, water delivery. Thank you. And a computer delivery. Thank you. we like to try to at least see a little bit of what there is to it and to ask the locals what they recommend. At the library I went up and I asked the person sitting at the desk, I'm gonna guess he's like in his 20s, I asked him, I said we probably have like about a half an hour just to check something out. Is there anything around here you recommend? <laughs> and he pretty much looked at me blankly and I was waiting and then I was like no. He's like no not really. <laughs> How to be proud of your own town, right? He was like, oh, it's a pretty humble little place. Just because it's humble doesn't mean there's nothing to see. He actually recommended the mall. <laughs> nice. And then he asked an older woman who was sitting there, and she recommended some museums and park. Martin Luther King Park, I think. So on the map, we looked, and there's a riverfront park, but it looks like it's closed. It looks like they're redoing all of it. So can't see any of that. Maybe it's time to just keep going. Hit the road again. Hit the road, Jack. <laughs> Thanks to the recommendations of the locals. Eh, nothing to see here. Well, here we go. On the road again. Off to better towns, I suppose. <laughs> this little park on Google Maps right off I-10. It's on the water, which means hopefully a nice sunset view and a cool bridge in the background. So we're gonna have some dinner. Ew. So I was excited that there's a beach here and palm trees. It's starting to feel like Florida a little bit, but then I went out on the beach. Look at my hands bugs. I, I don't know if they're mosquitoes or flies, but I just killed them and they're nasty. Ugh, they're all over. They're like mosquitoes. So I have a feeling we want to stay in the van. These things are all over. They're nasty mosquitoes. Okay, we're from Florida. We're used to mosquitoes. These mosquitoes are monsters. Absolute monsters. Oh my gosh. They're like everywhere. So, got a few pictures and video and I'm getting back in the van. Steve's grabbing some video over at the bridge. Mosquitoes were absolutely mutinous. That was terrible and I'd been really looking forward to enjoying a nice park. They were biting my, my hands, they were biting through my sweatshirt, I have like blood from killing the ones that landed on me. That was crazy. And that was like in less than five minutes I think. Let's just hope it was our blood. So we're safe in the van now away from those crazy mosquitoes. I'm gonna work on doing some video editing, Steve's gonna make some dinner. We recently made the decision to try to do two videos a week because we have so much content from all of our recent travels. That puts a little bit more of a stress on us to get the videos done. So as we were driving today, I've been working on editing videos and pictures. We were at the library, Steve was working on editing video, uh, trying to get it done so we can bring you some fun stuff. Dinner is served. Mm, thank you very much. I like my burgers. Well, we didn't get to spend a lot of time in Lake Charles, Louisiana. We did get to see some pretty water and a little bit of a pretty sunset before the monster Louisiana mosquitoes came out. 
and we had a really good dinner. But now we're back on the road. We're continuing our trek east. We have another hour tonight before we make it to a Cracker Barrel. We are trying to make it to Central Florida for Thanksgiving. We have a little less than a week to do that now. Did you know that the state bird of Louisiana is a mosquito? But I'm bum. your harness on you already let's go baby let's go good girl it's a good girl let's go okay huh? okay that didn't last long What's the matter, kitty? You scared? She's going to be more of a scaredy cat, it seems like. And then there's a huge anthill out here. It's like huge. spa this morning. Come oh, here, give me your gin. Oh, that's a spot. So some kitties you can't pet backwards against the group against the fur. She loves it. Don't you kitty? Good girl. Hmm? Look at all that fur. Good morning you guys. Hey good morning. We went through our normal routine this morning, got ourselves and our van ready for the day. The van was thirsty, so we took it to get a drink. Really liking these gas prices lately, but they're even better if you go to Upside. Check out our code in our description below and you can save even more money. Savings. So today's a cloudy day. We are charging our power unit as we drive with the DC to DC. I made a mistake last night when we drove for an hour and I had the solar plugged in by accident so we didn't get to charge it last night as much as we wanted. But we should be fine today. It's cloudy now but it's supposed to get better. Hopefully we'll have some sunny skies. We're heading to Baton Rouge today and we're going to head out and check another state capitol building. And today we get a bonus. Not one, but two state capitol buildings. There's a new one and an old one. And the old one especially looks pretty cool. So we're gonna check those out.
guys ready to see a cool building? Let's go check it out. state capital, but it's got good water pressure. So it's a pretty neat old state capitol building. It's nice that we can still check it out. And they're setting up for a wedding, so it was extra pretty with all the flowers and stuff. It but smelled pretty. It did smell pretty. And the architecture is amazing. Look at this massive Spanish oak. It's beautiful. Look, it's the mighty Mrs. PPI. We missed the memo. The party must be somewhere else because there is like absolutely no one around here. We're in the state capitol and the roads are absolutely empty. Isn't that weird? Where is everybody? They must have known we were coming. <laughs> so, like, like everybody scram. We're out of here. Steve and Audra are coming. So I just checked and LSU doesn't play until tonight so they're not all watching football. We're going for a extra long walk to get to the new Capitol building now. Oh wait, oh, oh, I see a vehicle, look.
You ready to go up to the observation deck? Let's go. Was fun. It was neat to be able to go up to the observation deck. It was a little windy. We're a little wind blown now, yep. but a nice view. I would say that this capital is not the most impressive we've been in, although the old one probably makes up for it. It is the tallest, apparently. Is it? That's what the TV told me. And the TV is always right. So it's the tallest. We're back at the van after a pretty long morning. I think it's almost three o'clock and we haven't had any lunch yet. We've just been out exploring. So we're parked in a spot that's got an outlet on a mountain a tree right outside the window here. So Steve has actually opened up the back and he's plugging in our shore power to that because it's been a cloudy day and our battery's getting low. And we're gonna make some lunch now. Sandwich time. So, just taking care of some van house chores, got it powering up the old Delta, now I'm going to switch out the fresh water container. We can always tell when the water's getting a little low because when we go to use it, it starts to sound like it's spitting a little bit. It's not like a consistent flow of water coming out. It reminds us of how it was before we fixed the foot pump, when it really struggled. All right, so we had a little bit of lunch, got the van juiced up. Now we're gonna go to the library and get some work done. I would say that today has been a perfect van life day. We found a nice place to park. It was free. It was in a spot where there were lots of things around including the library, so we got to do the fun and the library without having to drive around anywhere. So it was all pretty convenient. We had our lunch in the van, now we're making dinner. Little kitties hanging out here. Just a good day overall. Well, dinner's ready. This is what we're having tonight from Aldi. We put it on our tortilla shells. We got some salad to put on here. We're going to use up some of our yum yum sauce, have ourselves a little feast, and then we have mac and cheese to go with it. Dinner and a game in the van. Aldi, Aldi, Aldi. As we figured, someone obviously comes and feeds. Oh, lady. So 
was a truck tractor trailer right in front of us, and we had this concrete divide up with cattle shoes. The truck in front of us actually So there's an 18 wheeler in front of us who keeps kind of hugging to the right side. And we've got these concrete barriers that we just. Golly, shut up, Google. When we're new. It's gotta be over there. We're going past it. Look. We found this little park right next to I 10. We found this little park on the map. We were driving, I was working on editing today and also working on editing pictures. So, was, so that puts a little more pressure on us. So as we were driving, I've been video. We did get to see a little bit of a pretty sunset. And what would I have to say? Oh, water. Well, we didn't get to spend a lot of time in Lake Charles, Louise. Do our normal routine this morning, get our van and ourselves 